Hello, welcome to Simudan. This is uh, a video on uh, Bus Simulator 18, which is obviously a few years old, but I thought um, we would uh, give this a play today. I uh, used to be a bus driver myself in real life. Um, unfortunately, I had to give that up for medical reasons, um, but hopefully I'll be able to give you a flavour today of uh, how accurate this game is to real life. Obviously, this game is based, I think, in Germany. Uh, whereas, in reality, I live in the UK, uh, so there will be a few minor differences in uh, road setup and the side of the bus that we drive on, but um, hopefully, be good. So, uh, Bus Simulator actually gives you this um, nice little objective uh, thing going on here, um, which gives you sort of something to aim toward. It's not just a case of jumping on a bus and driving around all the time, although if you wanted to, you could go on sandbox mode for that. Um, so uh, we've got here that it wants us to plan a route with a maximum of seven stops. So we'll do that now. Um, a minimum of two in Oakville, two in Segvolden, and in Spokes of the Business Park. So if we do that now, in fact, I think the ones that they want us are all flashing. Um, so yeah, we'll do that now, and then we will drive it, as it says here, in round trip mode. So we check off these two and also get a feel for the drive. Right, so I've started this, so let's uh, guess, start it here. Does it make sense to go any other way? Those two, and then we'll come across the roundabout. Uh, we'll go to Lido, this one. This one, we just do something like that. Now, I'm not sure how that's going to turn our bus around, um, but supposedly, somehow, it should figure it out for us. Um, so let's uh, give it a go and see what it actually does there. Um, right, so we'll save that in. We'll call it something like... Um, Round trip. Not a very authentic name, I know, but still. Right, start drive. And we are going to drive in a, well, the only thing I've got is the Sitara K by Mercedes. Uh, interestingly, I used to drive um, a bendy bus version of this, uh, which I think is Sitaro G. Um, and I used to drive those around Brighton in. Uh, in the UK. Um, so uh, dashboards are fairly similar and we'll have a look at those in a minute and see how accurate that is. All right, uh, so we needed it in round trip mode and we will somewhere here, where is it? We'll do a quick start because, um, no actually no, we won't do a quick start. Where am I? I'm losing myself here. Right, there we go, quick start. Off, and that way I can start the garage and show you around the bus a bit. Right, start trip. Right, so here is my bus. Um, we unlock it and open the front door. You can have a look inside. It's a fairly small bus, as you can see from the outside. Uh, right, it's coming in. For some reason they lock all doors, which I don't know about in Germany, but in the UK isn't all that realistic. Most buses tend to be left as they are. Um, but then most garages tend to have people around all the time. Those that don't might lock their doors, I guess. Right, so let's jump into the cab. So, this is fairly accurate for a Mercedes bus. Um, in the bendy buses that I used to drive, the ignition wouldn't be... There's a retarder. I believe the ignition... There you go, the ignition's underneath here. The ignition was actually up on the dashboard and it was like a push button. 
But other than that, really realistic. The um, these buttons were down here, which are the door buttons. Uh, handbrakes in the right place. Um, everything else seems pretty much it's sort my lights out as I would expect. Machine, we don't need a bar light. There we go. Right, so let's give the bus a start. Right, I don't know if you can hear that, but you can hear the uh, nice rumble of the engine, which uh, is right at the back of the bus, as always. Chuck it into drive. Hopefully, should be able to move that handbrake. Close the door. Get a little bit of... So uh, to drive this thing I'm actually using a old Thrustmaster, I think it's like the Thrustmaster version 2, uh, so there's no force feedback or anything like that. But it does the job, it's nothing fancy. So something I see a lot on these YouTube videos of other people driving similar games is they don't use their wing mirrors at all. As you can see I've got mine all set up. Um, the reason for that is just I don't think I could drive a bus without, at least not well. Us. Open the doors. It's way too hot outside. Right. The second I close those doors, the time will go and they'll be stuck to a timetable, so let's stop here for a second. Check there's nothing else that I need to show you. Retarder, that would be an interesting one. So retarders on these have three settings. What happens with the retarder is when you, if I sort of put it on setting one and I'll show you as we go, but what happens is when you take your foot off the accelerator, it starts slowing automatically. Cool, check the mirrors, check that one, yep. all good to go. seen Stefan in a while. For some reason that backboard didn't close. No, he's sick again. There we go. That'd be why it doesn't go. So these buses actually, and it's quite true to life, they have what's called a halt brake. When you um, stop at a bus stop, stop open the doors, long. the halt brake goes marbles. on. Marbles, 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 marbles. After a while it stops sounding like a word. Really wasn't paying attention to what the road signs were saying there. I know that they have like little yellow signs, which I think mean that you've got right of way. Well, I'm not overly sure. Doors. So far. No one's wanted a ticket. I don't know if I've got that turned off or not. It's quite nice that they haven't, if I'm honest. Alright, there, let us go. Next stop. So, asleep. one of the tricks to uh, navigating corners in a bus in reality. There you go, took my foot off the accelerator there and slowed right down. Anyway, as I was saying, um, one of the tricks to 
navigating corners is that you wait until your back wheel is firmly away from uh, the from the corner and that way you miss the corner the curb completely see it's far too easy to treat it like a car that way. You're coming to the party at the old sawmill, right? Yeah, sure thing. And literally just turn a corner and take out the curb with your back. Like that. At least I think that's what happened. Stop. See that retarder is far too powerful and unrealistic. Marbles. Marbles. Don't like it at all. Marbles, marbles, marbles. Turn that off. Retarder's not off. Ah, here we go. Take it. We Junior. She wants one. And she's passed me forty. Twenty-four pounds. Thank you. I need to purchase several tickets. Of course you do. Right, it's a single. Yeah. Thanks. So, in terms of this channel, uh, what that my plans are, at least for the next couple of weeks, eh, was a bit out of part, place. Um, is that obviously next week we have um, Flight Simulator uh, coming out from Microsoft. Um, so my intention is to cover that either hey, on the day that it comes out or the following day. No, sorry. I need to and I'll be honest. Way. I know nothing at all about flying planes. So it should be an interesting uh, thing to try out and see how how well it caters for those people like me that just can't fly. Um, it's also, I think it's the week after that, the new train simulator world is coming out. So I intend to get a hold of that as well and give that a while and uh, bye bye. see how that fares compared to the old one. One ticket, please. And uh, you should be seeing one video from me every week at least um, for the next month or so. And then I'll uh, have a look and see whether it's worth me upping that or keeping it as it is. But you should get some uh, content from me on a regular basis, either way. Right. Next stop, Seagwalden, Large Street. So, in terms of these buses, other than the retarder, they handle fairly accurately. I thoroughly recommend this for someone that wants a accurate um, an accurate simulator for driving these things. I gave Fern Bus a try the other day, and uh, if I'm honest, I wasn't all that impressed. I mean, I've never actually driven a coach, if I'm honest, 
but I can't see it being that much different from this. Yep, lost track of a passenger. To be honest, that's quite unrealistic. You'd never chase after a passenger with their belongings. Maybe a pass another passenger would, but you wouldn't. You just don't have time. Now I think in future, when I do these videos, if I'm using this bus simulator, I'll just turn the tickets off because they're just too much of a distraction. Thanks. I need several tickets, please. Nice. There we go. I think that's all of them. He's going up the bus with closed doors. There he is, seated. We're joining this lovely queue of traffic. Next stop, Oak Street. Do you want to see a photo? I know I'm over that crossing, but it's the only way I can really get a good view of what's around me. Everyone seems to be letting me go, so let's keep going. Speed limit of 50 on here. Next stop, Oak Street. Too late. A ticket, please. That, believe it or not, is extremely accurate. No bus company ever gives you the right amount of time to do your route. That's why when you wait at a bus stop you find that your bus is never on time. Or if it is, it's likely because the bus driver has complained on the radio to their uh, control room. It probably means some poor person hasn't managed to uh, get the bus before you because uh, they literally just say, right, skip a tip, skip a trip, run it light, which means run it out of service. Right, so it'll be interesting to see what they do when we get to the sawmill, because I believe this is our last stop. And we're on round trip mode, so it should take us back, but it'll be interesting to see how the GPS turns us around. Of a pothole. Really not very good at avoiding them potholes. Interesting. Put it in round I'm sure I put it in round trip mode, but it doesn't seem to have uh, done anything. Let's put those parking brake on. Pick up the rubbish after these people. There is none. Oh yes there is. There it is. Well if we're done we'll lock these back up. One less thing to do when you get back to the garage. Alright, let's take it back. Seems to be taking us to uh, another garage. The one we came out to. Let's go. And then people behind us waiting for us to leave. It's not like it's not clear. In reality, people will be whizzing past you by now. Right, set so engine off. Lights all off. That's me done. 
So, if you like this video, then like this video and uh, please uh, also subscribe. Thank you very much for watching.